In the previous section, we have overlaid the plots for three responses to find a set of operational conditions that satisfies the requirements for all responses. But this process can be awkward when we have more design variables because the plot is bidimensional and k-2 variables must be held constant to build the plot. Often, a lot of trial and error is required to determine which factors to hold constant and what levels to select to obtain the best view of the surface. Therefore, this begs the question. Is it possible to have mathematical functions instead of overlapping plots manually? In fact, there is a practical interest in more formal optimization methods for multiple responses. One useful approach is to use the simultaneous optimization technique popularized by Derringer and Switch in 1980. Their procedure makes use of what is called desirability functions. The general approach is to first convert each response yi into an individual desirability function, di, that varies over the range 0 to 1. yi is each of the response variables, in our example, yield, viscosity, and molecular weight. The output of the desirability function must be 1 if yi is at its goal or target, and 0 if the response variable is outside an acceptable region. The individual desirability functions can be structured to maximize, minimize, or for a target value of the response variable. The objective is to maximize the overall desirability which is a combination of the individual desirability functions from each response. As the overall desirability is represented as the product of the individual desirability functions, it will be zero if any of the individual responses are undesirable, meaning outside the acceptable region. Let's take a closer look at each form of desirability functions. If the objective for the response y is a maximum value, the desirability function is structured to return 1 if the response is higher than the target value, to return 0 if the response is lower than a defined threshold or lower limit, and to return a value between 0 and 1 if the response lies between the lower limit and the target. The R parameter is called weight or scale. If R is 1, the relationship is linear. However, we can also define R between 0 and 1, or R higher than 1. The latter places more emphasis on being close to the target. In the same way, we have desirability function for the cases when the objective is to minimize the response variable. In this case, the function returns 1 if the response is lower than the target value, returns 0 if the response is higher than a defined threshold or upper limit, and to return a value between 0 and 1 if the response lies between the target and the upper limit. The weight can be defined as 1 for a linear relationship and between 0 and 1 or higher than 1 for a nonlinear function. The last function is for when the response y is to meet a defined target other than minimizing or maximize. In this case, the desirability function returns 0 when y is lower or higher than defined thresholds, increases if y is between the lower limit and the target, and decreases if the response is between the target and the upper limit. As in the previous cases, the weight can vary according to the emphasis placed on being close to the target. Let's now apply it to our example. The aim is to have yield higher than 78.5%, viscosity between 62 and 68 millipascal second, and molecular weight lower than 3400 grams per mole. 
Find a yield higher than 78.5%. We are going to use the desirability function to maximize it. Since it is a variable, higher is better. And the threshold of 78.5 corresponds to the lower limit, since it is the minimum acceptable yield. For the target, I will define it as 81%, that is close to the maximum predicted value for the yield. The viscosity should be kept between 62 and 68 millipascal second. It is clearly a case for target desirability. We will use 62 and 68 as the lower and upper limits, and the average between them, 65, as the target. Finally, the molecular weight has a maximum limit. Thus, we are going to use a desirability function to minimize its value. The upper limit is 3400, and the target value can be defined around the lower observed, 3000. Let's now use R for calculating the desirability functions. The code is in the doeopt06.r file.